This is Jared McCoy, Extension 11 Shin Moon 3, After Hour. Continue where I left off. Hey, I'm looking for them thugs. So, hope we, I'm gonna do a couple of training, get a couple of fighting skills in first. If I make some money and tune in the way before I fight these damn motherfuckers. Welcome. Good morning, Leon. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. I'm excited. See you soon. Horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna do a couple of these. I'm gonna fight one of the monks too. And then I'm gonna go to work, chop a couple of wood, and get some more money. And I'm gonna fight them. And then fight them dudes. Maybe I'll practice some more. I'll save it for later. One inch punch. Maybe I'll give it a shot.
should I keep going? Maybe later. Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? You're after a fight? Hmm. You shall face Blue Tiger. The fight is yours to lose. Let's go. Defeated Blue Tiger. Your rank rises without objection. Thank you. But this is not the end. Far from it. All right, now I'm gonna make make some money. Yeah, because I kind of low on money right now. I'm gonna make some money real fast. Do a couple chops on them piece of ass wood. Then we're gonna find them motherfuckers. There's a walk in sometimes take forever too in the way. Excuse me. What is it? I'd like to help you split some wood. Now we're talking.
This is good work. This is good work. I'm just, I might do two, about well, two or three more of these. So I get some money. I know it's not much, but here, take it. All right. After this one, I'm gonna do one more of this. I just need some more money. Thank you. 
it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. This is good work. Okay. No, I'm good. Well, I ain't forcing you to do anything. The job will be waiting for you. Alright, now I'm about to find these motherfuckers. It's on the other side of the bell tower. Got it. Thanks a lot.
See, that's the only thing I hate about this motherfucker, though. Fucking engine scissors to go down for, the, for no reason. Ah, so it's you. Sorry. You're the Japanese boy everyone in the village is talking about, right? Yeah. Would you like to have a look at my shop? Sure. As you can see, I operate a pawn shop. I do sales and exchanges. Exchanges? Indeed. Gather a set of items together and bring them to me. You can then trade them in for a skill book. Is that so? Yes, you look rather tough. May I presume you are interested in skill books? You could say that, yeah. Then by all means, trade with me. It will be far cheaper than buying elsewhere. That's good to know. Come see me whenever you get a set together. Okay, I will. Actually, I'm gonna go back in there and ask that dude about some questions about that dude. I'm gonna thug something to say. Excuse me. Well, come on in. You've got something to sell? I'll buy it. And I'll give you a good deal, too. Actually, I need help with something. I'll buy whatever you got to sell, so come by anytime. Do you know where Mr. Ko's house is? Oh, Ka. He comes here often. His house is behind the prize exchange across from here. Got it. Thanks a lot. Let's have a look around here first. Oh. Excuse me. Welcome to my Baijiu stand. Come again. Excuse me. Hiya. Do you know where Mr. Ka's house is? His house is just over there. But I don't think he's been home for days. Interesting. Thanks. Here for prizes? Prizes? Yep. Don't you have any tokens? Go play Lucky Hit or something and get some. Right. Tokens. You can trade them in at my shop for some fabulous prizes. Hey, ain't no mother of damn prizes, man. I'm here to take your business. Hello, welcome. Have any tokens to exchange? Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? Do you know where Mr. Ka's house is? Ka lives right behind my house. He's got all kinds of tools and statues out front. You can't miss it. Got it. Thanks a lot.
I got to go all the way around. Okay. Yeah, you know what the motherfucker probably shit at at first. Hello? Uh, I guess nobody's home. I should come back later. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go play that little boxing game. Okay. Yeah, this is my shit right here. Maybe I should play one. Why, Dow should play this motherfucker? I gotta see what the buttons they are on this one. Changes up. I'll be good. I'll come we'll back. Yeah, we'll be back another time. This one a lot different than the other last two games. They made it more complicated now. I'll never be back playing some more of that shit though. Welcome. Well, come on in. You've got something to sell? I'll buy it. And I'll give you a good deal too. You can exchange complete sets of items as well. <sighs> I'll give you this much for it. Thanks for your business. I'll buy whatever you got to sell, so come by anytime. Excuse me. Hello, welcome. 
Have any tokens to exchange? Actually, I need your help with something else. What is it? I'm looking for Mr. Ka. Ka lives right behind my house. He wasn't home, though. Maybe he still has work to do and isn't back yet. That man tends to keep to himself. I see. He usually comes home around seven or so. Got it. Thanks a lot. Here we go. That's the information they need right there. You can take him, take him straight there. Excuse me. Is there a stonemason named Mr. Kerr here? Why do you ask? I heard that some thugs came through town and caused a lot of damage recently. Thugs, you say? Yes. There were two. One had a spider tattooed on his head. Oh, those guys. Yeah, they came by. They were screaming, where's the Phoenix Mirror? As they searched my house. As you can see. There's a clue. You're sure they said Phoenix Mirror? Yep. He got I'm Phoenix Mirror. Stonemasons. Do you know any others? Why are you looking for them? It seems those thugs are targeting the village's stonemasons. Well, there's a young guy named Yen Shin down in the Rainbow Basin. I hope they haven't gotten to him. The Rainbow Basin. Got it. Thanks. No problem. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Hey, look at that. Shenhua. What is it, Liang? I spoke with Ka Jun Hao, the stonemason. He says the thugs attacked him too. Oh no. He's fine. Don't worry. <sighs> That's a relief. Yes. He said that his house got wrecked though. Why would they do that? Because they were after the Phoenix Mirror. Really? So what do we do now? I heard a stonemason by the name of Yan Xing lives in the Rainbow Basin. Oh no, Yan Xing. You know him? Yes. He trained under my father. We've hosted him at the house several times. That's good to know. I'll pay him a visit tomorrow then. Okay. I've noticed there aren't many men in Bailu. Oh? There are a lot of kids and elderly people, but nobody in between. That's because the men are in the city. All day, every day? Yes. Around this time each year, they leave their families behind to go work in the city. Huh. That must be tough. It is. Some of them never come back. Really? I've heard stories about men who get used to city life and decide they'd rather just stay. Wow. Is it true? Is what true? Is the city really that nice? Well, it's definitely more convenient than Bailu. So, you prefer the city? It's not an either-or situation. Why not? Home is wherever my family, friends, and loved ones are. So people matter most to you? Yeah.
Hey, Shenhua. What is it, Liao? What's your father like? He's rather strict, I think. You think? Yes, but I can tell it's all because he loves me so much. I know what you mean. My father was the same way. He's also my teacher. I learned a great deal from him. Your teacher? How so? He taught me all about the mountains, the animals, and the Lijiang River. He taught me everything I needed to know to survive in Guilin. Wow. He sounds like a good father. There was one thing I taught him, though. Oh, yeah? What's that? How to cook. I'm way better at it. Oh, I see. I can't argue there. Everything you've made has been delicious. He did the cooking when I was little, but I've taken over for him. Oh, yeah? He'd get this sour look on his face and say, Wish I could chisel half as good as you cook. Say, Leo. Yeah? What was your father like? He was... He was pretty tough. As a father, I mean. Just pretty tough? He was really strict around the house. But I could tell he really cared about me. He sounds pretty similar to my father. Yeah. We lost my mother when I was young. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, he probably felt he had to put that much more care into raising me. He must have been a nice person. I never thought of him as a nice father. But it's different now. Are you okay? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Alright. I want to save this game real quick. Oh, man. This is Shenhua's room. So? Leon. Hmm? You don't realize that he only takes a shower and shit? Yeah. See you soon. Still put those stank holes on. Ain't nothing new. Excuse me. What is it, Will? Which way is it to the Rainbow Basin? It's just past the Sunflower Grove. I see. So, why are you going there? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Thugs? Oh my. 
How scary. Excuse me. What is it? I'm trying to get to Yan Xing's house. Which way is it to the Rainbow Basin? That's a bit of a hike. It's a ways past the Sunflower Grove. I see. Mr. Ye's place, right? Yan Xing is that weaver's son. Got it. Thanks a lot. Okay. I need help with something. Are you speaking to me? Oh, um, what do you need? Do you know Yan Ching? Yes, he lives near the Rainbow Basin. How do I get to the Rainbow Basin? You just keep going straight from here. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Eu não baixo no dos mortos, no autor. Oh yeah, okay. okay. Let me get my energy up for this one. Time to get somewhere. Out of my way, I said. Leave me alone. I told you, my son isn't here. Just move already. What do you think you're doing? Huh? Who the hell are you? Must be the thugs that wreck Shu's house. Now tell us who you are. Not until you tell me why you're tearing this village apart. That's none of your damn business. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Let's mess this kid up.
There we go. Boop them. Who are you people? Why are you causing trouble here? Look, I can explain. The fuck is he? The hell? You're just a little punk kid. You got a death wish, don't you, kid? I'll finish you off in 30 seconds flat. Who this motherfucker is? I am expecting this motherfucker fight. I can't believe you did that. Are you all right? Yes. I'm fine. Who are you? I came to talk to Yan Xing. You did? I'm sorry, but he's not here. Not here? Was he kidnapped? Kidnapped? Goodness, no. He's over in Hermit's Nest. Way out there. That's where he fled once he heard they were coming after stonemasons. At least he got away safely. Is something going on? Yuan has disappeared. He has? Oh, oh no. Yanjin is his apprentice. Or was, anyway. Yuan's disappeared. Those thugs are after my boy. What is going on here? I'll be sure to tell you if I learn anything new. I'd be forever grateful. I hope you find something. I'll go to the hermit's nest and talk to Yan Sheng. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss break real quick. I'll be right back and I'm gonna fix me a drink.
I'll be right back though. I'm just fixing a drink. I'll be back. Okay, now I'm back. Excuse me. Yes? What is it? I hate to bother you, but... You look strong. Won't you come and work for us? Not right now. Excuse me. Yes? What is it? Which way is it to the hermit's nest? It's in the other direction. Is that so? The hermit's nest is deep in the mountains, past the bell tower. Got it. You look like a healthy Bella. Why don't you come work for me? Not right now. You can finish your business first. Come and stop by afterwards. Okay. Excuse me. What is it, handsome? Which way is it to the hermit's nest? It's a long way past the panda market. Do you know where that is? There's a sign down the hill. Got it. Thanks a lot. That's this motherfucker right here. Hi there. Ah, young boy. Dio, was it? Yes, that's right. Shenhua doesn't seem to be with you today. How do you know? I can just tell. Excuse me. 
<laughs> what is it? Oh, nothing. This is old man, motherfucking man. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm looking for the hermit's nest. Let your feet guide you. Right. There's a road that goes there from the Panda Market. Sometimes you can see deer in that area. Not white ones, though. Got it. Thanks a lot. Just head for the cow sheds behind the market and keep going. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. Why, hello there, Sonny. What can I do for you? I hate to bother you, but... This place is colder than a day-old dumpling. Oh, I just can't seem to warm up no matter what I try. You, on the other hand, have a cool composure hiding under fiery rage. Fascinating. Right. Excuse me. What is it? If you're here to apprentice under me, I must respectfully refuse. That's not it. What? You're not? The only young people that come here are those looking to apprentice. Sorry to bother you. It's okay. Sorry to assume. Hey. Excuse me. Why, hello there, Sonny. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Yan Shing. There's nobody by that name here. You'd best be going. I see. Excuse me. Huh? Um, hello? Yes, dear? Do you have a moment? Can who? Excuse me. Uh, huh? Um, hello? Uh, what's that, dear? Can you help me with something? I'm looking for Yan Xing. Look at what now? About Yan Xing? Oh, they sell that over at the Panda Market. I'm looking for Yan Xing. Just go straight this way. And I'll find Yan Xing there? Uh, no one. Forgive me, but I was asking about Yan Xing. Oh, yes! Goodness me, I'm so sorry. Now, uh... I'm looking for Yan Xing. There, at the meeting hall. Got it. Thanks a lot. Dang, this motherfucker don't even understand shit! Mm -hmm. 
Excuse me. Um, hello? This is weird. It feels like someone's there. Yan Xing. Who's there? My name is Hazuki. I'm a friend of Mr. Yan's daughter, Shenhua. Shenhua? I'd like to talk to you. Can you open the door? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. As long as I stay inside and lay low, I'll be safe. I understand. All right. I'm going home then. I'll go back to Shenhua's and fill her in on the situation. Hey, Shenhua. What is it, Liao? I went to the hermit's nest and talked to Yan Xing. Oh, good. That means he's still safe. And what of my father? I didn't get that far. I'm sorry. What? Why not? Yan Xing wouldn't even open the door for me. He's pretty terrified. That's terrible. We haven't found a single clue about your father. True. I can't even find those thugs. Leo. We've got nothing. What the hell do we do now? Calm down, Leo. Anger won't get us anywhere. But... Clear your mind. Huh? This is what my father would say. When you're stuck, throw out everything you think you know, and approach things from a different angle. Is that what he would do? It sure is. And you clearly feel pretty stuck. You can say that again. I'm going to go see Yan Xing again. Maybe this time I can get him to calm down and talk to me for a minute. Okay. Letter from Shen. Leo, I've left early to take care of some things. Come to Ternary Spring later. Ternary Spring? This must be the way there.
Excuse me. What is it? Which way is it to Ternary Spring? It's pretty far from here. Right in front of the Rainbow Basin. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. What is it, handsome? Which way is it to Ternary Spring? Who cares which way it is? What? Listen, honey, it's been a long day and I'm tired. I'm about to call it quits. Why don't you come in and take a load off with me? I just want to go to Ternary Spring. You're no fun. Fine, it's over that way. Thanks. Gonna be this way. So far. There you are. Hi, Leo. This is one of my favorite places. I come here whenever something's bothering me. The tree protects me. Did you just say, wow? That was my father's name. Ah, oh, I see. Well, you're the spinning image of him, I'll say that. You knew my father? What is this mark? Iwao made this mark when he was practicing his punches. He did. How is you all? Is he well? He was murdered. Oh. By a man named Landi in Yokosuka. Landi. Do you know him too? I do. His real name is Zhao Long Sun, the son of Zhao Sun Ming. Zhao Sun Ming's son? Look at this photo. This is Iwao and Zhao Sun Ming when they were young. They both trained here, sharing techniques and getting stronger together. Landi said that my father killed Zhao Sun Ming. Frankly, I don't believe it. I know better than anyone that he was not a man capable of murder. 
Visit Mon Yuan Temple. The resident monk there might remember more about you all. Liu. Shenhua, what's Man Yuan Temple? It's a long-standing temple in the village. Where is it? Go back to the village square and walk past the bell tower. Got it. You go ahead. I'm going to stay here for a few. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. So I don't know which way it is. Check that off up there. This part, this part of music from the fact of Shambo. That's just pretty cool though. Hazuki? Hazuki? How do you know that name? Iwao is my father. I had a feeling I knew you. Do you remember anything about my father's time that he spent here? In the village? That was almost 20 years ago. Yeah, damn. He came here all the way from Japan to train with a companion of his. This one. Ah, oh, yes, this young man. He and Iwao often came here together. His name was Jo Soon Mi. Do you know what happened to them after they trained here? Only that they suddenly stopped coming to the temple. I don't know what happened, but I didn't see them in the village after that either. Do you remember anything else? I may still have an email Iwa wrote. Really? I'll go take a look. Yes, please. This is where we keep everything related to the history of the temple. Please have a look around. All right, now I'm beginning somewhere. Thank you.
I'm gonna be I'm gonna um be training them um I'm a law enforcement. I'm gonna search every inch of this motherfucker. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see. Take the drawers. looking at. A picture of a horse? It's a nice color. Shiva, or perhaps Budai. Very interesting. This is... This is a morning glory. This is pretty good. I've never seen a magazine like this. The world is a big place. shit out. This game going good and going great so far. Oh, this is... It's like a dream. I mean, it's like a Saturn. I can't even take it. What a well behaved cat. I wonder how Fong Lei is doing right now.
Ain't nothing. I've seen this before at the Seven Lucky Gods. This is... Something is motherfucker. This is this is Shit. One. The Verdant Bridge. It must be pretty old. Hmm. What the? Phoenix <sighs> Mirror. Exactly are these people? So sorry to have kept you waiting. Hmm. Have you found anything of interest? This photo here. Ah, oh, yes, that photo is said to be of an Imperial envoy dispatched to Bailu village by the Emperor himself. What are these crests on these banners? They represented the will of the Imperial family. A dragon for the Emperor, and a phoenix for the Empress. It is said that the Emperor of the time revered the dragon and phoenix greatly. Why was this Imperial envoy visiting Bailu village? I'm afraid that is all I know. Would you mind if I borrow the photo? It wouldn't hurt to show a bit of faith in Iwao-san. Please, take it. Thank you. I'll be sure to bring it back to you. Hold on, take this too. Your father left it as an offering for the temple. I cannot read what it says, but I hope that it brings you some comfort. should show that picture to Shenhua. One inch punch. Maybe I'll give it a shot.
Maybe I'll practice some more. Maybe later. I'm gonna do it one time and get some money. Excuse me. What is it? I'd like to help you split some wood. Now we're talking. Impressive. I know it's not much, but here, take it. No, I'm good. Well, I ain't forcing you to do please. anything. I ain't forcing you. Will be waiting for you. <laughs> Second year of Shren Tong. That's the year it was finished. It's pretty old then. The resident monk said it was built for an imperial envoy that visited by Lu. Look at the flag and the mirror. These patterns match what we saw in my father's quarry. This might help us find him. Is there anyone who might know more about the bridge? Elder Yep probably would. Who? The elderly lady who makes medicine for the village. She lives near the village square. Perfect. I'll go see her tomorrow. Thanks. Damn, I wonder why I'm gonna make a phone call to these motherfuckers. Looks on me, I want her. Of course, Ch uh, Chen. Uh, Tom, enjoy.
Good morning, Leon. Good morning. What? I am. I'll find something about your dad. I just know it. Okay. Thank you so much. See you soon. Excuse me. What is it? I need to get to Elder Ye's house. Do you have business with her? You could say that. Her house is that big one over there. Got it. Thanks a lot. Oh, it's gonna be this one there. Man. You there. You're that boy from Japan. I need your help with something. Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? The Verdant Bridge? The Verdant Bridge, you say? All the villagers told me you would know something about it. And why is that? I'm curious about all the stories behind it, and the past in general. Why do you want to know about something that happened so long ago? What? Actually, I... I have nothing to tell you. Just leave. Please, I'm begging you. Are you deaf, boy? I have nothing to tell you. I need to know. I told you to leave. Very well. Sorry to bother you. Guess I'll have to find another old timer. Hey, goddamn bitch, could have told me something, motherfucker. Excuse me. Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? What do you mean by anything? I'm curious about all the stories behind it, and the past in general. That bridge has always been there. I bet everyone in this village has at least one or two memories about the Verdant Bridge. Okay, thanks anyway. Excuse me. What is it? Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? Maybe Shenhua is the one you should be asking. What? I mean, this is really about you and Shenhua, isn't it? Uh... Hmm? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Excuse me. What is it, Ryo? Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? Can you be more specific? I'm curious about all the stories behind it, and the past in general. Um, okay, but I get that it's really, really old, but it's still just a bridge at the end of the day, isn't it? Yes, it is, but that's beside the point. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe older villagers like Elder Yen know something about it? I see. 
I'm gonna go something to that bitch again. See if I can get some off the answers on her ass. She did kind of piss me off with that shit. It's time to get to work. I'll come back. Guess I'll have to find another old timer. Come alone today? Yes. Do you know anything about when the Verdant Bridge was built? I'm curious about all the stories behind it and its history. <laughs> so you figured you'd ask an old person. Well... That bridge certainly is old. But I know little about it. I see. I'm not originally from here, you see. I moved to this village when I got married. Is there anyone else I can ask? Hmm, let's see. Someone older than my husband and I. That leaves only Elder Ye, or Old Man Su, who lives in the Sunset Hill. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mr. Sue's house. Which way is it to Sunset Hill? Take the road in front of Elder Yer's house. There should be a sign along the way. Got it. Thanks a lot. There we go. Now you cooperate with me. Excuse me. Yes? Sorry to bother you. Are you that friend of Shen Hua's who came to town recently? He, yeah I knew it! As soon as I laid eyes on you. The rumors were true. You are cool with a slight bad boy feel about you. Wait, rumors? What's your name? I'm Hazuki. No, no, your first name. Oh. Um, Ryo. Ryo, is it? I'll remember that. Excuse me. Yes, Ryo? Do you know where Mr. Su's house is? Right here. I'm Yachin Su. Can I help you? I'm looking for an old man named Mr. Su. Oh, you're looking for my grandfather then. The oldest of the Su's. His house is right over there. Got it. Thanks a lot. Alright, 
Now I'm getting somewhere. Man, you gotta keep knocking. Shit. Come in. What is it now, eh? I have a question for you. You and everyone else. Uh, none of you would know anything if not for me. Go on. Tell me about the completion of the Verdant Bridge. Verdant Bridge? Is there anything you can tell me? Anything at all would help. Hmm, I don't get asked about it. Type, so I'll tell you. I was just a boy, mind you, but I recall that an Imperial envoy was to come to the village. The bridge was built by the villagers as a way to welcome him. It was? Yes. The bridge you see today was built for the envoy's arrival. I remember it vividly. It was a hot summer's day, and the envoy's clothing was quite ostentatious. Why did the envoy come to Bailu? Hmm. I don't know. Nothing? Like I said, I was just a kid. Is there anyone else who might know more about it? Well, let me think. I'm pretty sure Suan was there. Where is Suan now? These days, I hear he hangs around the market. The market? Yes. But he's a bit of a drifter. I can't guarantee you'll find him there. Understood. Thank you. Shen Hui said hello. Excuse me. Yes, Ryo? Do you know someone named Soon? Nobody by that name lives around here. Okay, thanks. Hey. Stop! Don't come any closer! What? Just about to start chopping wood. Never approach someone who's about to raise an axe. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me. What's up, kiddo? Do you know someone named Sun? The broke old guy, right? Yeah, I know him. Any idea where I could find him? He's got a silver tongue and goes to the panda market every so often. But he knows I don't give free booze to bums, so he never comes by Sunset Hill. Good to know. 
Hi there. I'd like to talk to you about soon. He's got a silver. Good to know. All right. Excuse me. Hiya. Do you know someone named Son? He comes by every so often, but I don't know anything about him. He never buys anything, but he sure knows his liquor. Interesting. Thanks. Excuse me. Welcome to my bite your stand. Appreciate the business. Do you have a moment? I sure do. Do you know someone named Sun? Son? Why him of all people? It's important that I find him. I occasionally see him, but not at my shop. He's too busy shopping for booze and sweets. I see. Excuse me. Yes? Sorry to bother you. You're a first timer, aren't you? Yes, I am. I know it's not much, but welcome to my restaurant. Thank you for having me. Xia Lian? Yes? Do you know someone named Sun? Are you looking for him too? He's got a lot of bills to pay, so tell him if you see him. That's not it. Oh? And I was so sure you were a debt collector. Um, not quite. Come on, bitch, give me some. Shit. Hi there. I'm looking for someone named Soon. And I. Um. Oh, goddamn, bitch. Excuse me. Well, come on in. You've got something to sell? I'll buy it. And I'll give you a good deal, too. Actually, I... I'll buy whatever you got to sell, so come by anytime. Do you know someone named Sun? Ah, Swan. He's a regular here. It's actually been a while since I last saw him, but he does come here often. There's no doubt about that. I've lost track of all the things I've bought from him over the years. I see. Hey, have you seen anyone named Sun? It's actually been. Do you know where that man? Got it. Excuse me. Hello, welcome. Have any tokens to exchange? Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? Do you know someone named Sun? I just drove him off. Guy couldn't take a hint. Where can I find him? He sometimes comes here to drink. 
He's a dirty old man. And when he's not here? I don't know where he is, and I don't want to know. I see. Uh -huh. Do you have him? He sometimes comes. Okay. I'm a little busy. I want to play soccer with you. But you don't have a ball. No. I want to be a soccer player, but my sister won't buy me a ball. Oh, no? My sister, she's called May May. Works at a gift shop. Gift shop? Oh, you must mean the prize exchange. I really want a soccer ball. The Pale Toss Place has one, too. Do they now? Uh-huh. If you throw the rock into the bucket, they give you a soccer ball. But I couldn't do it. Not even with my whole allowance. Can you get it for me? I'm sorry, ma'am. What? Sorry, Jer. I don't have the time. I hope someone can get it for me. Sorry, bud. I'll see you around, okay? I don't know. I, don't know. I should talk to this motherfucker. I got business to take care. Hello there. Howdy. Come on in. Excuse me. Gorgeous. Oh, young man, you're making me blush. I just have a question. Do you know someone named Sun? What? You're not here to buy anything? I'm really sorry, but it's important that I find him. He hasn't been by today. Where can I find him? You can ask away, but I don't have a clue where he lives or what he's doing. Oh, but I do recall him saying that Fung was an old friend of his. Fung? Are you talking about Grandmaster Fung? He's the one you should be talking to. Got it. Thanks a lot. Hey. Excuse me, Granny? Um... Uh, Granny? Um... Ah, she must be hard of hearing. Hey, Granny? Who you calling Granny? Excuse me. Gorgeous. Oh, young man, you're making me blush. Do you know where Grandmaster Fung's house is? <laughs> that old fox. Is he now? Why, Ternary Spring, of course. It's been ages since I last saw him. It'd be nice to see him again. I see. Do you have a moment? Where can I find Grandmaster Fong? Why, Ternary Spring, of course. It's past the Sunflower Grove. Oh, I see. Thank you.
you'll come to work for us? I have other things to do. Excuse me. Yes? I hate to bother you, but... If you have something to ask, I could go get my mother. What? Could you ask my mother? Okay. Hi there. Yes? What is it? Do you know where Grandmaster Fung lives? Grandmaster Fung's house? is in Ternary Spring. There's a signpost there, see? I see. Okay. Is he not home? Yes, hello. It's Hazuki. Oh, Rio. Come in, lad. Grandmaster Fong, I just have a question. Do you know someone named Sun? Ah, Sun. I know him well. He's an old training partner of mine. Can you introduce me to him? Hmm. I believe Sun has taken up residence in the abandoned temple. The abandoned temple? I can't guarantee that you'll find him there, but... If you go, place some wine and steamed buns on the offertory box and hide until he appears. Got it. Thanks a lot. Don't forget the wine and buns. Okay. Master Fong. Ah, Ryo. What is it, lad? I just have a question. Do you know where the abandoned temple is? What? You don't know? I'm afraid not. Is it far? Yo, do you know of the Sunflower Grove? Yes. If you cut through the Sunflower Grove, you'll eventually come across the path to the abandoned temple. I see. Don't forget the wine and buns. Got it. Thanks a lot. I need help with something. Are you speaking to me? Oh, um, what do you need? I'm looking for the abandoned temple. Do you mean the rundown temple in the sunflower grove? So that's where it is. Why would you want to go to that creepy old place? I hear it's haunted by a, a ghost. Huh. I wouldn't have guessed you'd be afraid of ghosts. What? No, I'm not! 
I'm not afraid of no ghosts. I've been training with Grandmaster Fung ever since I was three years old. Huh. I believe you. I need help with something. I'm looking for the abandoned temple. Oh, well, um, people say that the temple at the back of the Sunflower Grove is haunted. They say there's a ghost there. Thanks for your... Excuse me. Huh? Are you talking to me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wanna have a drink with me? It's going on your tab, lady. Seems like you've already had a few. I'm just having a good time. I'm not drunk. Who said that? Oh, fuck you, damn. Alcohol, motherfucker. Excuse me. I need to get to the abandoned temple. I hope you're not going there on a dare or something shitty like that. Well... You can pay a visit, but it's not going to do you any good. I see. There's a temple path from the sunflower field, but no one goes there anymore, so it must be a mess by now. Got it. Thanks a lot. Shia Lian? Yes? I need to get to the abandoned temple. Ah, uh, yes! Bailu Temple. It's fallen into ruin with no resident monk to tend to it. You can get to it from the Sunflower Grove. I see. Excuse me. Yeah? Do you know where the abandoned temple is? Don't ask me. But I've heard it's around here somewhere. I see. Look around. This place has nothing. Even if you find it, it's not like you'll get anything out of it. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. What is it? I need to get to the abandoned temple. Just a word of advice. If you're looking for a bit of privacy for you and Shenhua, you'd be wise to go somewhere else. Uh... You're going to... Well, you know, with her, right? It's nothing to be ashamed of, mind you. My husband lured me there when we were younger. What? Too much information, I take it? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'd be shocked if you actually went, but you can get there from the Sunflower Grove if that helps. Got it. 
Thanks a lot. Man, god damn. So it's gotta be around here somewhere then. I'm gonna ask this old bitch right here. Excuse me. Do you know where the abandoned temple is? We have the Manwen Temple in this village. That's not it. There's a bamboo thicket between the bell tower and the big pond. Um, I'm looking for the abandoned temple. The temple beyond the thicket is also known as the Amar Temple. Right. You don't have to thank me. Okay then. Do you have a moment? How do I get? We have the. Uh. This ain't no good. Come ask this damn bitch again. I need help with something. How do I get to the abandoned temple? Oh, well, um, people say that the temple at the back of the Sunflower Grove is haunted. They say there's a ghost. Okay, thanks. That's this motherfucker right here. Excuse me. What is it? I need to get to the abandoned temple. Can't help you. That's too bad. Actually. Yeah. The old pond. What? Just thought I'd mention it. I see. Excuse me, how do I get to the abandoned temple? Even if you find it, it's... I see. Do you have a moment? How do I get to the abandoned temple? Even if you find it, it's not like you'll get anything out of it. Thank you. Never mind. Jeez, no rest for the wicked, huh? Do you have a moment? Yeah. Do you know where the abandoned temple is? You can get there from the Sunflower Grove. Got it. Thanks a lot. This one? Place the liquor and buns on the offertory box and hide. He's very wary.
He wanted wine and buns. I'll have to get them somewhere. All right. Hey. What is it, handsome? I'm looking for a shop that sells stained buns. If you're hungry, why didn't you say so? Come over to my place, and I'll feed you until you're full. Actually, I... If you're lost or something, I can take you in for the night. No, no. I just have to get going. Hey. What is it, handsome? Do you know where I can find a liquor store? If you want a drink, just... No, I... Are you saying you don't want to have a drink with me? No, no. I just have to get going. Yeah. I better eat something before I fall over. Oh, damn. I need help with something. Are you speaking to me? Oh, um, what do you need? I'm looking for a place that sells steamed buns. I doubt you'll find one around here. The Panda Market is the best place to shop. Okay, thanks. Do you have a moment? Of course! I'm looking for a shop that sells steamed buns. If it's steamed buns you want, go next door. Got it. Thanks a lot. Do you have a moment? Of course. Do you know of any place that sells liquor? Well, there's a Baijiu stand right behind me, but I'm sure Kong Mei Goods over there also stocks alcohol. Got it. Thanks a lot. Oh, my fell shit. Excuse me. Hiya. I'm looking for a store that carries liquor. Not for yourself, I hope. Of course not. And Mo didn't ask for it? No. Well then, hi! I've got a huge selection. Excuse me. Hiya. 
I'm looking for a store that carries liquor. Not for yourself, I hope. Of course not. And Mo didn't ask for it? No. Well then, hi! I've got a huge selection. Excuse me. Welcome to my Baijiu stand. Appreciate the business. I'm going to finish this up real quick and then I'll come back and play another, another time. I'm going to take a break and I might hit about that call of duty. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Not yet. you from Grandmaster Fong. Oh, eh? What do you want? <clears throat> There's something I'd like to ask you. Question one. Got it. Hey, I need your help with something. Very well. I'll give you one question. Well, what do you want to know? Please, tell me about the completion of the Verdant Bridge. The Verdant Bridge? I must have been ten or so. They sent an Imperial envoy here to Bailu. We built the bridge to welcome the Imperial envoy. I remember waiting near the bridge with Ye and Su to catch the envoy's arrival. We had to shove our way to the front, but what I saw was etched into my memory. Why was the envoy sent to Bai Lu? That's the question, isn't it? For a Phantom River Stone Mirror. What does a mirror have to do with this? 
That envoy was on a mission to get a mirror made by the greatest stonemason in China. They came by decree of the Emperor. And who was the stonemason? His name was Yuan Yushan, and he stood above the rest. He lived in Bailu. He was Yuan's grandfather. I see. So that's the connection. I'm here back to the house. See, I'll laugh too, gang. You can stay up. You go back to the house or hotel, whatever, buy up that clock. This must be a big change of pace for you. So I wanted to make sure you're holding up okay. Other than a few cuts and bruises, I'm fine. Okay, just checking. I appreciate it, but you don't need to worry. All right. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liu? I've been thinking about Yuan. What about him? What was the drawing of the mirror in his room? I have no idea. Did he ever tell you anything about it? Not a thing. I'd never even seen it before. Hmm. He always told me never to touch his work desk. I see. The pattern on his mirror, the phoenix mirror, and the carving in the cave. They've got to be connected somehow. I think you're right. They could also be linked to his disappearance. We should ask around for more information about your father. Good idea. Say, Leon. Yeah? One more question about your father. Go ahead. What did he do? He ran the Hazuki Dojo. So he was a martial arts instructor? Yeah, a tough one. His students feared him. Did he scare you too? No, he didn't scare me. Not even a little? I haven't feared a single opponent I've ever faced. That includes my father. Impressive. You're a pretty tough guy. You think? I mean, I don't know. You're not sure? I want to get stronger as much as the next guy, but I'd never call myself tough. Why not? I feel like my father will come storming up to me the second I do, yelling, Don't be so full of yourself. <laughs> So he did scare you after all? Huh? No, I mean, he just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and close this game out. Uh, finish playing this game, I'm gonna take a little break, and then I'm gonna head back. Live stream again, play Call of Duty. And so take care.